Hi, my name is Sydney Schaefer. I'm in the elementary and special education dual certification program, and I'm going to be going over the FBA process that I have gone through. So first I'll describe my focal student, Jasper. Jasper is a 10-year-old African-American male. He's in the fifth grade. He's been diagnosed with emotional behavior disorder, ADHD, and a learning disability in math and reading. He is very creative and artistic and enjoys drawing and doing project-based learning. He also loves music and plays the guitar and cello and can read music. He also loves social studies and science because he's very intrigued by non-fiction information and enjoys learning about the real world and has a lot of background knowledge on various topics. Jasper needs frequent breaks and manipulatives during his learning and enjoys one-on-one -on -one assistance while working on reading and math. The target behavior we are looking at is when given a specific task, Jasper refuses to do the task by laying on the floor, yelling, and throwing slash breaking objects, which some may call a tantrum. This is mostly seen in the morning when working on math or reading due to frustration and wanting to avoid the assignment. Next, I conducted an FBA interview with my cooperating teacher, and I am highlighting some of the essential questions she has answered for me. So first, we have what is the behavior of concern and how often and long does it occur? The behavior is physical and verbal aggression, which looks like yelling, throwing classroom items, slamming doors, kicking, hitting, punching, stomping. This can occur zero to five times per day for about one to 30 minutes, and it is fairly intense. What are setting events that may trigger this type of behavior? Sleep patterns. If Jasper does not get enough sleep, he can become more aggressive. He's not on any me medication for his disability as his family has had a history of substance abuse. And Jasper has an identical twin brother and does not enjoy when people get him and his twin mixed up or they act like he is the same person as his twin. What activities trigger the behavior? Math, writing, and reading. How do others respond to the behavior? Normally, Jasper will have to write an apology letter after showing challenging behavior. He'll be sent for breaks in the office, or he will get a phone call home. What things can you do to improve the likelihood that a teaching session will go well with this student? Jasper really likes project-based learning, finding things that pertain to his interests or books of interest, and allowing for creativity and drawing. Next, we have the FBA observation plan, and we plan to use frequency recording. And this is an example of what my recording sheet would look like. So we have the target behavior listed, the operational definition. Next, you would list the date of the observation. And then I have an example for time and occurrences. So you would list the start time of the observation and then the end time. And you have to make sure that it is at least one hour that you are observing the behavior. Then I would mark my occurrences and the length of the observation. So for example, I said there were four occurrences in the length of two hours. And then we would calculate the rate at the end, which would be occurrences divided by the length of the observation. So four divided by two is two occur occurrences every hour. The observation system we'll be using is the FBA OF. So for this observation sheet, you would list the date and time that you're seeing the behavior the context it is happening in, so what is the student doing, where are they, the antecedent, which would be the trigger, so for this I have math assignment, behavior, what does it look like, what is the student doing, yelling, throwing, breaking pencils, the consequence, so what happened directly after the behavior, and then what effect did that have on the student. And then finally, you would sign off, or a staff member would sign off that they witnessed this behavior. 
Our hypothesis statement is when presented with a math reading or writing assignment, Jasper engages in physical and verbal aggression, such as yelling, throwing, and breaking objects, kicking or hitting, to avoid having to complete the given assignment. Next, we have the FBA intervention plan for Jasper, which we will start with the intervention goal. So when given a specific task that triggers frustration, Jasper, Jasper will now verbally or physically, by holding up a card or a sign language of some sort, signal to the teacher that he needs a break. Jasper will take his break in a designated spot in the classroom or in a quiet room in the library that has comfortable seating and manipulatives available for him. This break will last up to five to 10 minutes. And while taking a break, Jasper must bring paper and a pencil so that he can identify and write what possible supports he needs in order to help him complete the task he was given. After identifying his needs and calming his body, Jasper will return to class, express his needs to his teacher, and finish the task with the support needed. This means we may need extra support staff, manipulatives, graphic organizers, or other devices to keep him well supported. Eventually, the use of a break may be faded, and the hope is that Jasper will be able to, when triggered, immediately identify what he needs to help him be successful and communicate that to his teacher. Next part of the in intervention plan would be addressing antecedents. So we are going to do that by altering how instruction is delivered. Because Jasper enjoys one-on-one -on -one support and learns well from watching videos, he will either be provided that one-on-one -on -one support or a video explaining his assignment to him during math class. And we'll also be using learner preference. So in both math and writing, problems and prompts will try to be geared more towards Jasper's interests by incorporating drawing and visuals, black history, Star Wars, and some other things. Next, we have how we would teach the replacement behaviors to Jasper. So we'll be using self-instruction. So first, the teacher will model the replacement behavior and the set of statements related to the task by first pretending to get frustrated by an assignment. Then the teacher will stop and say, do I need a break? And if yes, the teacher will proceed to the break spots and show the student the different manipulatives they will have there. Once calm, the teacher will ask themselves, why is this assignment frustrating me? What do I need to help me? And begin writing down ideas. They will then return to their assignment, raise their hand, and tell the teacher what support they need. Jasper will practice this until he understands how the procedure works. And finally, we'll also be addressing consequences by using positive reinforcement. Every time Jasper successfully takes a break and calmly comes back prepared to learn, he will be given praise and also be able to add a tally to a reward chart. Once he reaches 10 tallies, he will be able to pick a reward he deems enjoyable. For example, extra recess, a treat, lunchtime with a teacher of choice, and all of this should assist in increasing appropriate behaviors and discouraging challenging ones.